Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube. I am going to be doing a little home update tour type thing today. So it's definitely not done at all. I still have so much more to do, but I've also come a long way since I've last posted my house on YouTube. So here we go. So this is the office. This is just like every single other room in the house. Work in progress, but this is where I do my speech therapy work. Me and Brighton hung up these shelves the other week and I'm working on decorating them right now. I kind of wanted it to be like an accessory wall. It's kind of like an office closet space, I guess. Not as much closet, but I didn't have a place to put like my sunglasses, my jewelry, perfume and stuff, purses. So this is kind of where that belongs. My desk, I am obsessed with my desk. The designers actually picked it out. They also picked out the rug, which is really fun, like a cool splash of color. I just wanted it in here to feel very open, clean. But I do love this little acrylic calendar that I have. It's so fun. I just put most of the stuff going on in the month, like chores to do. And yeah, I love the space. It's not done. I need to get rid of some stuff in here, but it's coming together. So then we come, it's kind of a strange layout. This is the upstairs master bathroom, I guess. But it's kind of like in between the office and the master bedroom. So it's definitely like odd, <laughs> but I really like it. So I love the green. It makes it really earthy, kind of a different feel to it. This is my copper sink and I love my copper sink. I kind of go back and forth between wanting the patina on it or wanting it really nice and shiny. And right now it is in need of a little bit of a, a copper scrub. It's very satisfying when I do it. I'll have to like story that or something so you guys can see. I have another plant. There are plants in every single room in this house. I hate having like clutter on the counters. <laughs> clutter. <laughs> So, this is the master bedroom. I love the closet doors. These are my favorite. They're so cool. I just hung up all of these Diseño frames. It was super easy. Me and Rachel unpacked all of them and hung them up the other day with my dad and Brighton, Landon, August. <laughs> we are all here doing it. Okay, we are hanging up. Dad came over. We're all hanging up the Desenio frames right now. So we're gonna hang all of these guys, we mapped it out on that wall in that my bedroom. You, be on that wave. you like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's do that. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> Hamba? That's like, oh, what's that accent from the movie again? Is that? This one. That one might look better. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one's kind of cool. Okay, you guys, final photos. Thank you. Thank you, Landon, for all your help. <laughs> thank you, August, for all your help. It looks good. I want to say a quick thank you to Desenio for sponsoring part of today's video. I really like the company because Desenio is a sustainable and environmentally friendly brand. They have a bunch of different prints that you can choose from so there's kind of something for everyone. I chose these ones because I love the Beatles and Bridget Bordeaux. I like the neutral aspect of them. Yeah, I'm very excited about this art wall that I have going on. It literally changed the entire vibe of the room. And I do have a code for you guys. It's Cassie Randall for 10% off of their site. They have a sale going from January 2nd to January 10th. Okay, this is the one thing about houses built in 1970 that I just don't understand is why is this vent like a centerpiece on the wall <laughs> it is the ugly thing i don't know how to cover it up so if you guys anyone has ideas below please tell me how to get rid of this this vent so what i'm thinking about doing to this room is i have like the tall curtains that kind of lengthen it the prints go high up you can also add more prints below because they are a little high on the wall I've got my frame tv up here i can change this art too right now i have a little wave, but I might change it to something that kind of matches the prints. And then I was thinking of putting either wallpaper on this wall and then also some sconces because I just love that look and I feel like I could use some height on this wall. It's one of my favorite parts about this room. 
is the lights are on dimmers and I'm obsessed with lighting. I'm, I'm working on getting the lighting all perfect in the house right now, so. I want to go outside, it's all wet. So this is the balcony off of the bedroom and I just got these from Living Spaces. It came in a little set. I feel like it fits out here because it's not like too bulky. I used to have really big chairs out here and these ones are much better. The ground, I put Ikea decking down and it just made it so much cleaner looking. And I did the same thing in the atrium but in a different material. And it was so easy to do. This literally took probably like an hour to do this entire balcony right here. I'm going to get like tall bamboo right here. Um, kind of make it very private and vibey. Oh, and I got these really cute pillows and pillowcases off of Amazon. I'm obsessed with them. So then we go off of the balcony into the enchanting garden, which kind of got destroyed in the wind recently. So this is the garden, and it's definitely had its ups and downs, and right now it kind of needs a little bit of love, but this is the first thing I ever did on the house. My dad, Landon, and Brighton built the trellis on the side. This is the roof of the garage, so I'm scared that one day it will cave in, but let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Let's not speak that out into existence. I have my citrus string lights, lots of palm trees because they're easy to keep alive in Southern California. This is the part of my garden I'm most impressed with currently. Look at these green onions. I honestly don't even know how to like harvest them, but they used to be this tall, like probably a month and a half ago, and now they're like, this is quite crazy. And my, my cilantro is taking over. This needs to be trimmed back. <laughs> it's about to take over the old garden. Look at it. <laughs> so, you guys, this is the biggest thing I've done to the house so far. And I just did it. I'm so excited. All right. This is the front right now. What? It looks kind of scary. Here are my sliding glass doors. I'm going to show you. So they're fixed on the side. And then... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's really cool because I can leave them open. Unless the cats are out, then I have to, to figure that one out. Maybe get like a long screen. But I love these doors. They let so much light in. So I did the doors and I painted the inside white at the same time. The color was Chantilly Lace, the Benjamin Moore, and it was a perfect color. You guys will see, it changed the whole house. I think the whole vibe of my house, what I'm going for is, it's like a mid-century, modern, like Bali-esque, but also, you know, modern type of vibe. Like a lot of neutrals and then with a lot of splashes of color. I need curtains on these, need curtains on those, and art pretty much in this room. My living spaces couch, it's been my staple thing in this room. The fiddle, these tables, so cute, I love these. They're called Zane side tables, they're from Castlery. And so is my coffee table. I love that it does, like, it moves around so you can kind of like play with the shape if you want. Ignore the used candles in the middle of it. But I kind of like it like this because it's bigger for this big area. I have an artwork, a big like wooden sculpture art coming to go right here. But right now there's like no art hanging in the house and that's kind of my next, well, one of my next projects. I also have this lamp. Ignore the fact that it's broken because I hit my head on it and it just like fell off. So. <laughs> Won't touch it for now. This is probably, okay, is this a TV or is this a picture? It is a TV. This is my Samsung frame TV and I love it because I can change the picture on it whenever I want. So right now I have Christmas themed going. Obviously the Christmas tree here too. Also, I would have a different Christmas tree but I waited like a really long time to get one and this was like an extra one that my mom had. So I still love it. This console is from CB2. I love it. I feel like I needed 
some like a staple white piece in here to brighten it up and it really kind of ties everything together but I love this it opens so there's storage inside of it a record player okay, so the floors I love my concrete floors at first I was a little nervous because when they were doing it it looked I don't know just like super messy they're really old so they had to grind them down a ton for them to look this good I kept the 50 year old concrete in the house it was also way less expensive but if you want like that really clean concrete look you can get new concrete poured that's my concrete spiel. So this is the under the stairs area that I have been like really ever since I moved in. I'm like, I do not know what to do with this space. Um, it could be really cool. And I was thinking first I was going to make it into a little music area, but maybe down the line I'll do that. But for now, I'm thinking of making this into like bookshelves, wooden bookshelves on this side. So I could put little trinkets and books and maybe some records. I'm kind of still trying to figure out what to put on this wall. I might just like leave the chair, so like a bookshelf with a chair, maybe a built-in bench over here. I'm open to any input if you guys have any ideas for this little space. I don't want it to feel crowded. I feel like right now I'm gonna just take all the stuff out of it, make it more open, but I think a bookshelf might be fun to put here. Okay, so this is the atrium. It came with these string lights. I love the atrium. When I first bought the house, everyone was like, oh, you should tear out the atrium and make the whole first story into like a big open space, which would be really cool, but it would also be a lot of money and work. So I feel like it helps with the indoor outdoor feel and it's just like its own little vibe right here. So eventually, I think it'd be really cool. I wanna make all of this like a door, sliding doors so it can just open and then um, that's kind of a look that. <laughs> but I want to keep this like open feel. So I've kind of just made it like a very planty, rainforesty vibe. These chairs I put out here because I didn't know where else to put them. So they're a little large for this spot, but they work for now. Oh, and we did the floors. So this is from Ikea. This probably took like 20 minutes to do, but it made such a difference in the whole feel of it. I'm gonna put everything in the description below. So, oh, and I also, I planted these all by myself, these little plants here. I'm gonna get wood chips to sprinkle around them. Also, with like a beach house, privacy is just something you don't really get because you're so close to everyone's houses. So I was thinking of putting like really tall bamboo growing right here. So it's a little more private. That's a future plan, hopefully soon. Yeah, this is the entry. So these, these, blah, 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 why is it so weird? These are the stairs, and I love that they're open. It just makes the house feel even more airy. I love it, and this, these ceilings are so tall right here. I had designers come when I first bought this house. I'm taking like little bits of their plans and I'm putting them through the house. I've definitely tweaked a lot of stuff, but I'm kind of keeping them as like my guiding force. So they had a whole art wall right here, which I loved. So that is the plan for this. Also, if you're looking at these beautiful wood stairs, don't worry, this is not permanent. This, this was a project that we thought we could take on. <laughs> Basically, these were carpet stairs and it looked terrible. So we ripped them off and then Brighton and my dad sanded them for so long. Brighton was like spending like three days trying to sand the stairs to make them, like trying to preserve the wood. Turns out we can't get all the carpet staples out from underneath it. It just looks terrible. So I'm just gonna put new wood on the stairs. Here's where we are. So right now you can kind of see the carpet dangling off of stairs it's really cute and then I we painted the um, or the painters painted all the little accents of the stairs white so it used to be gray it looks so so different hey that hard okay so this is the dining room 
I'm in love with my table. My designers picked this out. It fits perfectly right here. I do need to still find dining chairs. So I was kind of waiting on figuring out what I would do in my kitchen. I kind of thought of this mirror design. My mom and I walked into a crate and barrel and they had this mirror design on one of the walls as a display. And we're like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool on my dining room walls. This came with the house. This is the lighting fixture, but it kind of goes, it's actually really dusty right now, but it goes with the, the theme, the mid-century theme of the house. So. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're wild right now. I got them running everywhere. Moving on to the kitchen. So first of all, I have four pantries right now, which is crazy. And I just got them done. So uh, like organized inside by Neatly Embellished. And she did such a good job. I'm in love with them. But I was going to paint them white like the rest of the house and then decided to keep the wood doors to give it some more warmth so it wouldn't be like too washed out white. And I'm really happy I did keep them because you can't really get back the wood. You can always paint them, but you can't get back wood. So that's why I decided to keep them wood. Okay, so I just figured out what I'm gonna do with the kitchen. I had a cabinet guy come and help me design it. And then my mom's been helping me a lot. So what I'm gonna do is make the black countertop a white quartz and I'm gonna get rid of this little step right here and make it fully flat so it'll be a lower like island looking thing I wanted to get rid of this pillar but it is a support I'm gonna get rid of this fridge and I'm gonna put it into where this cabinet is this is like tentative planning too this is what I'm thinking of doing and this will happen in like February March so I'm gonna move this fridge into this pantry area, but it's gonna look built into the wall. So they're gonna put the cabinetry around it. And I was thinking of making the kitchen green. So having like a sage type of green cabinet everywhere with a white quartz countertop would look very mid-century modern. Also, it's a pretty classic color, so the rest of the house is white and very neutral. So I thought a fun green and white kitchen would be really fun. And then I'm gonna get a new oven hood, a new sink. I'm gonna make the sink a lot bigger. I'm gonna kind of make this whole wall feel more open, probably have hanging lights coming down, maybe some open wood shelving. I'm like redesigning the entire kitchen. So I'm trying to pinpoint what exactly I want to do. Yeah, the kitchen is happening in the next couple months and I think it will change everything. I've said that about every product I've done, but I really do think the kitchen will be a big one. I just got this coffee maker. Brighton got this for me. <laughs> and I used to be a barista. It's really fun. And also this is my Le Creuset pan. I love I love like you're saying. Okay, so another concrete floor thing, which is like there's really odd spots in the floor. So if you look, this is what me and my mom like to call California. Okay, so this is the guest bedroom. I will show you guys later because right now it's like very much so a work in progress and there's a lot of storage stuff I'm trying to figure out where to put. But I will show you the guest bathroom. And I really like the tile in it. It's very, very mid-century modern. I think it's just a cute little green bathroom. I'm trying to figure out how exactly to decorate it because there's not a ton of space. I might want to lift the sink up a little bit because it is pretty low. I hung up the shelf myself. It's from Urban Outfitters. And I have no idea where to put it, but I feel like it actually sits perfectly here. It might be a little too high, but... That's why I don't hang anything else myself anymore. <laughs> okay guys, so that concludes my home tour, home update video. A lot of stuff going on in this house, so I'm sure there will be another one soon. But if you have any suggestions or ideas, comments, questions, um, let me know below. And yeah, I will see you guys soon.